The nun held up the brush for the other girls to see, making a gesture from her cheekbone to her jawline like a man shaving his whiskers. The older girls laughed loudly. Come and not toothpaste. One evening in October, after a hard day of the Raven's education, I sat over my bowl of cabbage soup in the long dining hall. It was the same food we had been force-fed when I first arrived, and I remembered how many girls had become ill. Those same girls were now lapping it up because they were starving. Perhaps you need some help with your appetite, suggested the raven as she dropped a soppy wet rag right into my lap. By now, I knew she intended for me to wipe down all the tables. If I had a pocket of stones, I would shoot you with a storm of pebbles. The nun swooped down and clutched my dress in her claw. This is no place for a willful child. I jerked back, knocking my bowl over. The mush oozed down the raven's dark habit. She raised her claw at me, and I crouched to avoid the blow. You seem to require a little more education. By now, I knew I was in for trouble. That night, I had a nightmare. I dreamed I was locked beneath the raven's habit with many other children. She cackled and laughed as we tried to break free, straining against its weight, knowing we would never see our parents again. 